mouse. Duh. Hi everyone, welcome back to Adelaide's makeup tutorial channel. So a few new things this week, obviously I've had my hair coloured. It was coloured in my last video but I didn't talk about it. So I had it dyed this purpley reddish colour and it's already faded quite a bit but it's faded into this really cool red colour which I'm really enjoying. Let me know if you like this colour. I had it done by a very talented hairdresser named Candice. If you're ever on the Gold Coast or if you live here and you need your hair done or coloured really cool, check out Style Creations. I'll leave the link to their Facebook in the description box down below. And the other thing that I wanted to update you on is obviously that Greg is back. Hang on, he is running around my room like a crazy monster. Say hello, hi! So I've got the puggy back, <laughs> thank you. I've got Greg back and as you'll notice he only has one eye now. So this is a really common thing with pugs. They tend to lose eyes, mainly because their eyes bulge out a bit more than other dogs, so you have to be really, really careful with them. And unfortunately, Greg got into some freshly cut trees and just managed to knock one of his eyes. So we did try and save it. <laughs> what are you looking? So we did try and save his little eye. We had two surgeries done to try and keep it in there, but unfortunately, um, it just, it was too far gone and... He was in too much pain, so we had it taken out. So yes, now he is a pirate puggy, but he's just as happy as ever. He still gets around fine, he still runs into walls as much as he did before. And he has a Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram account now for his little pirate puggy adventures. And I've been making him some little eye patches to sort of keep people from feeling too bad for him with his one eye. So you can check out some of those novelty eye patches on those social media accounts. Okay, so today I am continuing on once again with my Snapchat filter series. And today's look was requested from Minion Girl 23. Thank you for sending in your request for this mouse filter look. So this one is super cute and quick. It's very similar to the dog filter. So once again, it's a very easy one that you can do for Halloween. So I'm going to show you how to do this mouse filter makeup look right now. Let's get started. Okay, so firstly, I'm starting off using a white eyeliner pencil and I'm drawing the outline of the nose area shape. This is pretty much an exactly perfect upside down love heart shape. Excuse me for a second, I just had to duck out and get some water for my face paint. <laughs> so next I'm taking a white face paint. This is my favorite white face paint to use. It is from Merin, and I'm using it to fill in the entire inside of that shape. And if you would like details of any of the products that I'm using in today's video, you can find the names of them and the links to where you can buy them in the description box down below. Next I'm taking a light grey face paint and I'm applying this over the top of the white face paint and just really jaggering out the edges. Is jaggering a word? I'm not sure. Anyways, so I'm not going right to the edge of the white except for just above the lips. But other than that, I'm just flicking out over the edges of the white face paint. This is going to give the effect of fur. Next, I'm taking this pink face paint and I'm applying the shape of a little mouse nose on the end of my own nose. And also extending a line of that pink down to the cupid's bow of my lips. Then I'm taking a dark, dark pink lipstick and I'm applying a line of this over the top of that light pink line I drew from the cupid's bow up onto the tip of the nose. I'm also just using that colour to draw a little bit of a line around the nostrils as well. Then taking that white face paint again, I'm drawing a small thin line across the tip of the nose to give the effect of a shine on the nose. I'm also using a very thin brush to draw some whiskers extending from the grey area of the face out onto my cheek. And I'm applying my white eyeliner pencil to my waterline which is going to make my eyes appear slightly bigger. I'm then taking these mouse ears which I made earlier, they're super easy to make. I just took some white paper and some colouring in pencils, a grey and a pink obviously, and I just used a picture of the Snapchat mouse filter as a reference for the shape on the ears. I'm then taking some spirit gum and I know that most people won't have access to spirit gum easily, so you can alternatively use eyelash glue. And you're just applying a very small strip of that to the bottom on the back of the ear, waiting for it to get a little bit sticky and then applying that onto your forehead. Okay, and there we have the completed mouse Snapchat filter makeup tutorial. If you enjoyed this one today, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I do at least one new tutorial every single week, and sometimes I throw an extra video in if I have time and if I feel like it. Guys, I love getting your requests, so please keep them coming. I always write them down, and I promise I will try and get to as many of them as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next tutorial. Bye, analyzers!